Hello everybody, welcome to Monroe Live. I'm Al Steyer, Vice President of Technology and Research. Uh, sitting behind me right here is the Skywell battery pack. This came out of a 2021 SEV Limited. Uh, you can see it's got a composite cover on it, uh, lots of fasteners around the outside. Uh, this thing was held in, it's got aluminum extrusions and you can see the mount points, there's five on this side. Uh, there's additional two on the back over here. Uh, it does have a couple of fasteners here holding the cover down so you don't get any oil canning you know, to help eliminate any NVH issues. Uh, interesting one that we haven't really seen is uh, they've got these little uh, do not tear you know, warranty stickers. So if you remove that, they're going to void the warranty. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side. Uh, it was really easy to pull this out. Very few connections. Uh, we do have an electrical connector here. It was just a DC voltage going out. When we checked it, we had no voltage, so we're not sure what's going on inside the pack yet until we get the cover off. Uh, assuming there's some sort of contactor in here, but we'll find out you know, in the next couple hours. Two coolant line connections, one for going in, one coming out. And if we look at the back side, it kind of looks like a penthouse back here. We do have a low voltage connector right here. So it's got a few fasteners that holding it in. We'll have to pop that out. Uh, we have a vent right here. Other than that, it's actually a pretty simple design. Like I said, it, we got we dropped this in roughly about a half hour, 45 minutes to get it out of the vehicle, and that was it. So the other thing about the battery pack is it's a, it does have a 72 kilowatt hour battery pack, 192 amp hours, weighs roughly 442 kilograms. Um, looking at the, we looked up the range, and it's roughly somewhere between 400 and 450 kilometers, which is like 250 to 280 miles. Um, if you get the ET5 version, it does have a 520 kilometer range, or roughly 322 miles. So with that, we're gonna roll it to the back and uh, commence to remove the fasteners and make sure we take it apart safely. All right, so as you can see, we've got the, the top cover off of the uh, Skywell battery pack, and uh, we've got some pretty good sized modules. We got, it looks like there's at least five here, and then we think there's another one down in here underneath this, this tower section. Um, you can see the cooling lines here. We have on each of these, they basically they have a cooling plate on the ends, on the sides of the module. So it comes in one side over there and just passes through and then back out the vehicle. Uh, we got all these uh, connectors in here. You can see this is part of the BMS system. Uh, there's another set on that side that all ties into the BMS, which is up here on the top of this tower. Uh, so uh, we'll be pulling that apart. We have the uh, low voltage interface to the vehicle right here. And as you walk around, you can kind of see this cooling plate or cooling plate that comes across the end of this, and you can see the um, another uh, coolant line connection there. And as we walk down through, again, got the same thing that we had over there. Uh, they interconnect the modules with bus bars, and then one of the things they've done is they have an abrasive sleeve that goes on here because they're attaching it right to an aluminum extrusion. So it's going to create a sharp edge, and that's going to prevent uh, you know getting the insulation wearing through it and having a short. Uh, as we come down, you can see all the, fa all the modules have four fasteners on each end, and then you can see there's some on the inside down through the intersection there. At least in this side, I don't see it down any in this side of here. And as I come down here to this end, again, we got our coolant inlet and outlet. So, you know, it pass in, goes through the modules, and comes back out this side. Uh, 
when we checked here, we had 312 volts. Uh, we do have a set of contactors in here. Uh, we have a shunt down in, or yeah, I think it's a shunt down in here. We have a current sensor over here. And other than that, we just need to start taking things apart. And we're going to start cutting the voltage in half and start removing the bus bars and then uh, get it down to a safe level. Each of the modules, when we were looking at them, uh, they're 45 volts. We're not sure on the big tower down there. It seems like it's a little odd because, you know, when we have 312, uh, we need at least 50 volts per module, but we're only looking at 45. So, so that's it for now. Volts. All right, we got three volts there. We got three there, so the cells are basically running down through. It comes over and it keeps going up this way. And then it comes back down this side to here. to here All right, so that's probably about the halfway point then from here what it looks like they're doing is they're transferring the bus bars to the opposite side interesting they have one bus bar collector here and then it comes back up on this side so this ends all connected in pretty much uh, in series down through here uh, unlike the pouches that we typically see the uh, anode and cathode ends are on the same end of the pouch, uh, so there's nothing on the bottom side here, but then they have to turn it around on this other side somehow. So it's a little different. And then the FR4 that you see running down the length, that's part of their BMS system. So they're monitoring each cell and what the voltages are. Um, you can see on the side here, we do have the pouches. Uh, we're at a point where we're like, you know what, we're not going to take it apart any further. You can see this little crinkling in the uh, pouch right here. When we pulled this back, it was adhered to this patch right here. So we don't want to risk damaging any of them. Um, what's really odd is the uh, cold plate is on the side down through here. It runs the full length and it's on the end of the cells versus on the, uh, the outside of them or, you know, running Typically, we see the cold plate would be like in this vicinity for these type of pouches. So they, there is some uh, potting material down in there embedded. You can kind of see it right here. So I would imagine this is a thermally conductive material that's uh, helping pull the heat from pouches down through. Uh, we do have our main bus bar right here comes out. The other one exits out on the end down here. Uh, this whole th section here was covered with plastic. And what we have here are vents for each of the cell group areas. So you can kind of see this one's oriented for this section, this section, down through and so on, and one's still stuck, setting down inside. There's some sort of potting material that's inside of here once they get it all filled in. Uh, right now, what we want to do is try to break this down a little bit. So I'm probably going to try to get this bus bar here, or collector out. It's got four screws, so we can disconnect that just to kind of break the voltage in half on the pack. Uh, it's all aluminum, very small screws holding this thing together. Uh, see if I can't pick one up for you. But yeah, they're uh, pretty small. And you can see on the back side of the cover here, they run down the full length. You can see some of them on this side as well. <clears throat> so like I said, we tried to get it apart, but at this point, we're just going to leave it as is and We'll be able to cost out the boards. We'll be able to get to the pouches. We'll have to do some estimates on weight. Uh, but yeah, that's so this is the uh, Skywell uh, battery module. We do have another one over here. I would imagine that this was a little taller. 
So you could kind of envision this section right here would be the similar with the pouches in there. So they're doing something very similar inside of this one. All right, what on this? Low voltage connector down on the end. So this is your BMS. We have our positive and negative for the bus or for the high voltage. And then right here, this is for the bus or for the uh, BMS system. Uh, interestingly, they actually use terminals for their BMS. You know, they do have some solder. It's a mix, so you know they come to the main bar here. They just go to that terminal. But then over here, actually, it does look like they actually run a screw down inside of there. So it's. A little bit more labor intensive than most of the ones we see. There's not much automation that you can do with this. You're just hand wiring it and routing things. All right, with that, like I said, we're gonna try to get a couple of these bus bars out, just to break down the voltage, you know, get it down to a lower level so I can get rid of these rubber gloves. And then uh, with that, uh, that kind of wraps up the uh, Skywall battery pack. I uh, appreciate you joining and uh, get back with us later.